Learning objectives include physical methods of microbial control and their mechanisms of action. Heat is a very uh, common, uh, commonly used agent, and it's very cheaper um, to get rid of the bacteria or microbial load. There are various forms of heat. One is moist heat. Boiling is one example, or cleaving is another, pasteurization is another. All these have uh, protein denaturation as a mechanism of action. Dry heat, uh, we have direct flaming, we have incineration, and also hot air sterilization. Um, direct flaming, we basically burn the object to ashes. So burning takes care of everything, of course. Uh, similarly, incineration is another burning completely. And hot air sterilization, the mechanism of action is through oxidation of the objects. Filtration is another way, physical way, of uh, removing microbial load. And the mechanism of action, of course, by filtration is physical separation of bacteria from that object. Uh, filtration, of course, can be done on liquid media. Sometimes we employ high pressure for sterilization or for disinfection. Um, high pressure basically alters or changes molecular configuration, molecular structure of uh, proteins and carbohydrates. And if they're changed, um, as I mentioned earlier in the lecture, they, um, most of them are enzymes, and if enzymes don't work, no metabolic pathway would work. Desiccation is another physical method um, for controlling microbes. It causes disruption of the metabolism. Desiccation basically is a removal of water. So water is essential uh, for life. So if the water is removed, um, bacteria, microbes would not be able to grow. Osmotic pressure um, causes the mechanism of action is plasmolysis. Uh, and the very good example is uh, salting. Uh, we use for meat preservation, we use in pickles. You know, the pickles have very high salt concerns. Salt by itself is inhibitory for microbial growth. And uh, salt also extracts water from the, uh, from the microbes. So uh, if the water is not there, metabolism is retarded. Radiation is another physical way um, to control microbes. There are two kinds of radiation, ionizing and non-ionizing. Uh, ionizing both basically cause uh, DNA damage. Ionizing has more power um, for causing more damage to the DNA, where uh, non-ionizing like UV light uh, is less penetrating. So the efficacy of UV light uh, remains uh, confined to the surfaces only. Not, I mean, we cannot uh, achieve disinfection or sterilization by radiation, by non-ionizing radiation in the fluid, uh, just a very small surface, uh, on the surface of the fluid, the bacteria that are on the surface could only be destroyed, but not in the deep, uh, deep in the solution. So in summary, um, physical methods are employed uh, for achieving uh, microbial control, and they have uh, various mechanisms uh, of actions, most of them denature proteins or remove water, uh, cause desiccation.